Welcome back ZDroppers. Today we are going to run through finding the extension features on a supplier webpage so that you can list and listing your first product with ZDrop. Customizing our setting and templates and quick messages in the extension. Let's drop right in. Feel free to pause when you need. First we have here our Facebook marketplace. If we needed to create a new listing manually we could go ahead and click here but in this case we do not even need our Facebook marketplace open. We're going to go ahead and utilize the ZDrop extension. Make sure that you're signed in. We've got all ready here a listing up and if you're going to a listing for the first time you'll give the ZDrop extension tools a quick moment to actually load on the top of the page. Here they are now. First we have download main images which will be all of the images that are here on the listing. Then we have create multiple listings for each variation. Now this is if you do have multiple variations like this listing here that does have multiple different colors. If you would like to deselect one you simply click the X and let's say these are the only four options that I'd like to go ahead and list. We will then click create multiple multiple listings for each variation and these are the only ones that will upload. We have save to bulk list. Let's go ahead and save it to bulk list. ZDrop ran through the whole entire listing, selected all of the data from the listing and has now secured it away in our bulk. Let's check it out up here in the extension. Lastly, we have four options for different marketplaces that are supported. Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook, and Etsy. Let's make our first listing by copying to Facebook. As you can see, ZDrop has now brought a Facebook tab and has already opened our marketplace for us and has started a new listing. It needs a little help, so we'll click paste data from the data that it did collect on our supplier website. I'm not touching the mouse now and ZDrop is doing all of its work creating the listing, coming up with the title, adding tags, including the description, and even a price point. All that's left for me to do now that the pictures are completely uploaded and set the category and click next. Let's try bulk listing. We have two items in our bulk listing. We'll go to bulk. We'll select both. We can even choose interval of minutes in between. We'll run bulk now. It's bringing up the listing first, extracting all of the data from the listing as you can see. Next, it will bring up a Facebook tab, entering in the data. It's bringing up the next listing. As you can see, this listing is finished. Perfect, and we're done here. We've successfully listed our very first product and we've ran a bulk. You can refresh any supplier page and you will find the drop extension. We'll go ahead and we'll choose a product and now we'll be able to see our features pop up right above the title copy by ZDrop. We have the same option. Now let's work on setting up our template and customizing our setting. We'll go up to our extension. We'll access settings, set our profit margin. We can choose our template. We can choose to hide it from front. The condition, we can list it as in stock, the quantity and save. We'll go to templates. We can include description here, save. Now we'll go back into setting, copy to Facebook. Our intro, our description has been pasted and we have 19 on hand. The VA option, you can use it. We'll click extract data. Let's say we like to add hot item and save to bulk list. This is work your VA can do just only by accessing your ZDrop and not accessing your Facebook. Sign up for ZDrop at ZDrop.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can be notified of new updates in ZDrop. Good luck and see you next time.